Hey everyone. Oops. I put this stuff on. I decided to bring y'all along with me so I could kind of show y'all what I do to my hair every. <coughs> I just took two braids. I had two braids. I had like a braid here and a braid here going to the back. And I just took them down. And I'm putting some. Let me go on. Let me wait a minute. Hold on one second. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm using this right here, lemon top. This lemon top. This is my number one seller. I put a small amount on my hand, not a lot. And I just rub it in, kind of massage it in. I hadn't, I didn't put it on my scalp, so I'm basically just putting it on my hair. I'm kind of just rubbing it down like that. And this is what I do. I'll do this probably mm, every other week. Oh uh, yeah, it's cause it don't it lasts. And you can part it. You can just part your hair if you want. Part it. And just put it on your scalp. Maybe I'll go on and just do my scalp because I haven't did it in a couple of weeks. Okay, since I started here, I go this way. And I just grease it, my scale with it. Small amount. It don't take but a little bit. See? See that little small amount? And I rub that all the way back. I'm going to work this here, right here in this area. I got two combs, but I just took them braids down. My hair, it don't, it don't look thick. But when I get the comb through it, it feels thick. Okay. Okay. So this is all I do. Just put just a little dab on my finger. And I just run it through. I don't put no little parts. I make them kind of big. Because when I put it on there, I'm going to massage it in. See? Just a small amount. It's a very little small amount. Uh -oh. And you're going to do that over your whole head. Just a small amount. Now, I've been natural since 09. I don't put no heat on my hair. So, if you're putting heat in your hair, if you let me know, like if you're pressing it, it ain't gonna hurt if you just put the, you know, the earth, the dryer. I have set up on the dryer, but I have not pressed it. My hair has only been pressed once. I'm not twice. I had it pressed, I think, twice since 2009. So I just pretty much wear an afro, or I have it braided, or I have some kind of uh, style, you know. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to braid this back up just to get it out the way. Because I'm pretty going to probably just put my hair in a ponytail today. But I'm just putting this out the way because I ain't bring no clamps or nothing in here with me. Because I really want to really want plan on doing this like this, but I said, well... Show y'all how I do it, and I had my hair cut down to it was cut so short that it was in a little bit of afro about that long. It was probably about fingers, about that first length of your finger. I wish I had some pictures of it when I got it did, but I don't have any pictures from that. Okay, I'm gonna break this up in two sections. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this front first. Okay, take this just a little bit. Run that cross here. Okay. Hold it back. And just put a little bit right here. I don't put a lot because I'm gonna massage it in and it, it moves pretty good through my hair. So works pretty good. So I don't I don't put a lot on it. 
but this keeps my hair moisturized, my scalp from itching. I don't have no problem with flaking or itching skin scalp, and it keeps my hair conditioned. I don't use a lot of conditioner, Stobol stuff. I got some sulfur-free shampoo I use. But I'm in the process of making my own shampoo. So, but I got some sulfur-free. I buy sulfur-free shampoo and conditioner. I don't hardly use. What I do is, when I rinse my hair, sometimes I do a cold vinegar rinse. Where I just put a little vinegar in a cup cold water and I just rinse it through my hair and I comb it and then I rinse it get a light rinse out okay I do a light rinse out okay I'm gonna do the back see how quick that was real quick it don't take a lot small amount it don't take a lot <clears throat> Get out of my face. <laughs> Don't take a lot at all. Huh. Use it. Use just a small amount on your scalp. Then you're going to put a small amount in the palm of your hand and rub it all over your hair. I already did that. Because that's what all I was planning on doing. And then I said, well, I might as well go on and pull my scalp since I haven't had it did in a couple of weeks. Because I do not shampoo my hair every week. Twice a month, maybe. And then in the winter, since it's cold, mm, I might shampoo it once a month. I'm not out in the dirt doing anything. I'm mostly in the house. Especially with, you know, COVID. I ain't been going nowhere. I go to the store. And when I do go out, I have not been out this house since March. 2020 <clears throat> without my hair being covered up I cover my head up when I leave out okay so I don't have to I don't have to do that I'm gonna take this down I don't have to put that up take this back down okay take this down I'm gonna put it up in a ponytail today and then this is all I do I massage it massage it in Let's massage it in. Get it all in your scalp good. Mm. Don't have no problem with no dandruff. No flaky skin. I see, look at that. I lost some hair because I had that braid been up about two weeks. <sighs> Those two braids. I done had them up two weeks. <sighs> And it smells good. My hair smells good. And so, this is what I'm going to do. I don't always just comb it all the way out. I just push it up. Push it up. Into a ponytail, if that's how I'm going to work. And I think that's what I'm going to do today. I just push it up like this. I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the house. So, <sighs> push it up. And that's it. Let me get my... Rubber band. Mm. I put a rubber band on it, or sometimes I just, I just use uh, those hair, those ta uh, what you call them? I call them tubes. I don't know what they're really the name on me else, but I just call them a tube, and I just put them on my hair. Okay, this is how sometimes I do it like this. I get the rubber band and I stretch it. Stretch it out. It's, you know, once a rubber band is stretched out, it don't go back to its original shape. Sometimes I do it like this and put it over a chair. And let it sit over the chair for a while. But I take the rubber band and I take it all the way around. Okay. You got to have a little oil or something on your hair to do this now. Because if you don't, it's going to pull it. But I got that. <sighs> lemon top on there so I just do it like this and fluff it up how I want it <sighs> and I'm ready I just kind of fluff it up how I want it 
bit. Do it like that or either. Okay, I just do this. I know I'm constantly getting off the camera, y'all, but I wasn't planning. This is just something I just did. I wasn't planning on doing it. So I do it like this. It's another way. I'm going to take this rubber band off. Y'all can see. I just put it on like this, and I push it up to where I want it. Most of the time, when I wear it like this, I, my hair be done been down a few days, and it be in that, in that thick afro, like, you know, kind of in that curl, be done formed in it. And I do it like this, and I push it up. And I love this style. It's easy, it's quick, and I like to push it up a little bit, just let a little bit out. And I like it, and I like it like this. <sighs> because I remember... Listening to somebody saying a man, I can't exactly remember who it was, but he made a point and I liked it. He said, if you keep your hair in the, that same style, okay, just like, you know, when you was in high school, if you keep your hair in a style that you like, that, you know, everybody knows you for that style, that's what you need to keep because it keeps your keeps you looking young. It keeps your youth for look to you. And I meet, you know, I have run ran into a lot of people that I went to high school with, and they'll say, girl, you ain't trying. You look the same. I know I don't change. Not that I know. I know people, you know, people lie. But, uh, because <laughs> uh, I know good and well I don't change since high school. But I keep that same style because I used to always wear my hair up in one ponytail. And they called them puffs back then. Or I wear two. That's how I wore when I was in high school. And so people know me as the, you know, they know when they see me, they see them puffs on my head. Because my auntie, Aunt Joseph, used to call me K. Dooley Ball. Because my mama always puffed my hair up in a puff or two puffs. Sometimes she'll put two puffs. So I just like it like this. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. And please, this is my own personal job. So I don't have a label on it. The only thing I got on here is just said lemon top. That's all this says. Lemon top. Uh one of a kind. What is that? One of a kind body butter lemon top. And then I got the ingredients on the back because this is just my personal job I made for myself. And this is what I use. And this is what has helped my hair grow but i only been using this for a little over a year but i noticed the difference when i started using it all right y'all thank you y'all have a great day and it's a great day to be alive all this t-shirt <laughs> i dug in my t-shirt draw i got so many t-shirts i got a draw i just keep t-shirts in it okay all you need is love and coffee. <laughs> Let me see. Can you see it? Good. Love and coffee. Yep. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. God bless you. Um, stay safe and be blessed.